Welcome to this example video. Here we will design a 43 feet excavation supported by an anchored reinforced concrete second pile wall. The model will be generated with the software DPEX and we will perform structural and geotechnical optimization of all modern items. DPEX is our software program for deep excavation design and analysis. It can design any common wall type and support system using different analysis methods. Inside the software, we will select to open the model wizard, and in the first wizard tab, we can select the analysis method, the method for the calculation of the earth pressures, and the beam analysis method. In the next tab, we can select the project type. In this one, we will perform an anchor to wall design. We will set the final excavation depth to 43 feet, the final wall depth to 65 feet, and the groundwater at minus 10 feet elevation. Here down we can select the structural section for our tiebacks. In the second tab we can create a list of soils and define the soil properties for each one of them. And then we can select to edit our stratigraphy. Here we will define the top of the soil elevation and the soil type below its elevation. At minus 10 we will use a sand and at minus 30 feet we will use a glacial till. If we close this dialog the software will keep our changes. And in the next tab, we can define our wall section type. We edit the section, and in this example, we will use a reinforced concrete second pile wall. We select the option, and in the concrete rebar tab, we can change the pile diameter. And here we will use 24 inches, and we can define for the longitudinal and shear reinforcement. We will leave the selection 6 rebars number 6 and we will use number 3 rebars every 6 inches as shear reinforcement. We close this dialog and here we can see the generated section. In the next tab we can define the depth for each support level. We will use a tieback row at 8 feet below the surface, 20 feet below the surface and 30 feet below the surface. In the next tab we will define a strip load 0.6 KSF developed for 40 feet starting 2 feet behind the wall. And in the last tab we will leave the currently selected structural and geotechnical code. So the software creates the model with all the construction stages. Here we will perform the analysis and in the calculation and checking summary table that appears we can review the most critical results. We can see the maximum wall displacement, wall and moments and shears, moment and shear structural ratios, support reactions, structural and geotechnical capacity ratios for the support, and wall embedment safety factors. In this table we are notified that several items fail, the supports fail geotechnically, and the wall fails in moment and shear. If we close this dialog, we can review different results in different stages graphically on the model area, like the support geotechnical and structural factors for every stage, the wall moment diagrams, for different construction stages. So we can review in which stage the model fails, the wall shear diagrams in different stages with the shear capacity, the horizontal soil stresses, the water pressures and more. According to all these results, we can see where the problem is and what we need to optimize. Here we will double click on the wall, we will select to edit the structural section of the wall and we will change the concrete material from 3 KSI to 4 KSI. We will close this dialog and perform once again the analysis. And here in the analysis and checking summary table, we can see the new results. We see that the results are a little bit improved, but the issue remains. So we will go to the optimize tab and we will select to auto design a wall structurally. We click on the wall. The software proposes configurations. So here we will select to use 12 rebars number 11 instead of 6 rebars number 6 that we were using. By performing the analysis once again, we can see that the wall displacements dropped that the wall moment ratio improved and it is below 1, but the problem with the shear remains. We can double click on the wall, edit the section one more time, and here we will change the pile diameter from 2 feet to 3 feet and the horizontal spacing to 4 feet.
Here we will also select to increase the rebar size for the seal reinforcement to number 5 from number 3. We will perform once again the analysis and here we can say that the sear ratio is improved and it is below 1 as well. Now we will deal with the geotechnical ratio for the tieback. So we can go to the optimize tab, select to design the fixed length of ground anchor, click on a tieback, and here we can see that the required length is 35 feet. If we run the analysis once again, we can see that this tieback row is improved and it is optimized geotechnically. We will do the same for the top tieback row and we can see that the required length for the fixed part is 35 feet as well. If we run the analysis, we can see that all the results now are optimized and there is no critical result. This is how to quickly create and optimize a model with our software program. Visit our website in order to review more information about our software programs and services. If you wish to arrange a free online presentation with one of our technical experts, feel free to contact us. Thank you for watching this video.